one it's really cool so is the asset library so this has a ton of stuff in here that you can import into your model and it's set up with materials already and really like they're pretty much like drag and drop like once you find something you want you just drop it into your model and it's, it renders nice and everything and so let's say and they even have like 3d people so let's say we wanted to put like I don't know we don't really have a chair or anything for this guy to sit so let's find put this bench and you do it in SketchUp so let's say this guy goes here and it should pop up here because we have the live update on and see there it renders nice and then we can go to people so these are the little things that add life to like your your views and stuff so when you get this looking really good it's like makes a big difference so then here we can put this dude sitting here. It's gonna be sitting out in the open. And so the neat thing is it gives you this like weird like low res preview to keep it fast in SketchUp, but when it renders it's super high quality. So this dude's sitting here. It's kind of weird he's by himself, so let's give him somewhere to talk to. So, I lost my window. Everyone looks so serious. Here you go, here's someone sitting with him. So she's not actually touching the thing. That was pretty close. You know, her shoes in the underground. So these people are here. Maybe we put someone. Oops, that's the wrong button. So it's pretty surprising when you see them like in the animation, they don't move like they do in like Lumion and stuff, but like it's pretty good. Especially for when you just like like go past them. It's like and the cool thing is since they're 3D, like shadows cast on them accurately and you don't have to do like a whole lot of like weird photoshopping to make them look like they're actually in the scene. The what? The animation I don't know, I can't hear your question. The animation Well you'll have like your renders you've already done and then we're gonna make like a fly through. That, that's the animation. So you gotta set all the stuff. That's the tricky thing with the animation is you can't do a basic model and then do everything in post because it's you're flying through the whole thing so you gotta start building the little vignettes like within it so like if you wanted people here gathering you gotta like put them in there like because you're gonna fly by and see it so if there's like an overlook or something that you have in your project 
then you probably want to get up there and have someone there so you can see it. So just like we were thinking about the whole composition for each still image, you're doing the same thing now, but now you're telling the story through time and actually moving through the space rather than just like an empty building that you're just flying around like a bird's eye view. Like it's really about getting in there and kind of selling what it would be like to be there. Um, so let's go to people. Maybe this lady. She's enjoying the grass. Oh. It's probably going to look weird with like all the grass. It's going to like cover up. There you go. So for some reason she's sitting in the grass. It's like halfway up her leg. Um, and then if you wanted to go and add more trees and stuff, they have them here. They have cars. They have like little things you can put on tables. Um, we have, so let's go to vegetation. Obviously the more you add, the slower it's going to make the model. And like the longer it will take to render. So be careful with like what you're adding and make sure you're not going nuts. I mean, if you need a bunch of trees and stuff, you really got to add them. There's no way like around not doing it, but it's always going to look like this until you get in here and actually see what you got, which hasn't loaded yet. So this looks pretty good. We can put another one. This would be cool. Since this side of my building is totally blank, let's put some trees here. And see, notice how long the first one took? But now they're like popping in instantly, see? Because they're all proxies. So as soon as you click, it's pretty much done rendering it out. And you can really set, so I mean, you don't need a lot of like trees just like two or three trees and then you play with the scale and stuff and you can make it look like a bunch of different trees um, you don't have to have 85 trees and 85 unique trees it actually makes it faster if you do it this way because you the proxy works nice when it's repeated because it doesn't count double in the model these are all placeholders so SketchUp just needs an Enscape they just need to know what location what scale and what orientation like what angle is it at and then it knows to grab this model which is saved somewhere else and just display that in those settings rather than if it was fully modeled within um, SketchUp you would need every single little leaf and face and it calculates that individually it takes a long time so we've got this going so let's say we're happy with this the way it's looking now and we want to start actually creating the animation because that's really what we're trying to do right 